So you're gonna play D&D in the comfort of your own home. These walls are a prison. Maybe your friends live really far away or you can't leave your house. I'm gonna show you how I mostly go about playing D&D and other RPGs online. This uh, isn't a full tutorial, more of a guide on how you can get started and what tools I use to run my games on the internet. If it was a full tutorial on how to use everything in every detail, it would be like two hours long. So here's how to play D&D online. So let's get this out of the way. There's lots of tools you can use for your D&D games. However you want to do it is up to you and your group. This video is a guide on how I go about it to hopefully make the process easier for you. First things first, a lot of these programs and tools have subscriptions that you'll need in order to have a fun experience with online D&D. Now it's mostly the DM who has to pay for it. And by mostly, I mean the DM is the only one who needs to pay for stuff. If you're short on funds, you could pool money together in order to pay for everything. If you've got four players, and a DM, the cheapest possible option comes out to $31 each month and a one-time payment of $54. That's $6 each month and $10 once split between the five of you. This is also ignoring hardware like computers, mics, and a webcam. Let's also get this out of the way. There's a lot of role-playing tools out there. Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, people who play on Discord with a dice rolling bot and a screen shared Photoshop for maps. There's lots of tutorials online for any of these, but I prefer Fantasy Grounds, not sponsored. Why do you prefer Fantasy Grounds, Jacob? I don't know, it's easier, cheaper, I like that it's its own program, you can use it in Steam, and I know it way more than Roll20, so let's get started. You're gonna need a webcam, a mic, and a computer. Most laptops come with these things, so uh, not much more to say there. Fantasy Grounds and Zoom. I prefer Zoom over Discord and obviously Skype. Discord is great for audio. However, Zoom is much better at video and audio. I have numerous problems with Discord and I have zero problems with Zoom. It works really good. It's good at muting out echoing audio. It knows when people are talking and I've never had lagging problems or any kind of difficulties other than people having hardware issues on their side. Zoom does its job really, really well. Also not sponsored. Another really great tool to use online for D&D is World Anvil, our sponsor. World Anvil can house maps, notes, and all of your world building into an easy to organize article and website. You can also use your character sheets and have all of your characters interact in the social tab and the DM can obviously view them in their campaigns. They also just implemented a family tree tool for all those complicated houses you have in your games. Look, if you want an easy to use tool that can display information way better than you going, okay, can you see this good? Okay, this right here, this is where you guys are, and you're gonna make your way all the way across the Misty Mountains, and if you go far enough, you'll hit Waterdeep. How? Uh, let me get my document. Use World Anvil to solve all of your world building needs. It's perfect for online D&D. Use my code XP to level 3 for 20% off your subscription. There's a link down below. So once you've got Fantasy Grounds and Zoom downloaded, you can get started. You'll need a pro Zoom account and an Ultimate Fantasy Grounds license. Only one person needs to have both of them, as it'll extend to anybody who joins their Zoom call and their Fantasy Grounds games. You'll also want to get the player's handbook from Fantasy Grounds and the Monster Manual and DM's Guide if you're gonna run a home game. Or, if you're gonna run a pre-written, you can just get one of the pre-written's. It'll come with all the maps, monsters, and encounters ready to go. You don't really need any of the other books if you're running a pre-written, except for the player's handbook and any ex extended books that you want to use in your character sheets like Xanathar's Guide or Volo's Guide. Fantasy Grounds is extra fun because you can drag and drop almost anything. Monster abilities, spells, maps, magic items, all of it. Look, I just did a fireball. It was that easy. There's even health bars. It's so cool. Once in Fantasy Grounds, you can create a campaign and have your characters join it to make characters. You also want to make sure to enable the modules so your players have access to those books. You can even limit access to certain books and certain homebrew and anything else that you want to use in Fantasy Grounds. It's all up to the DM. Some other programs don't have this ability. From there, you can create tokens for them and put them into the combat tracker to add them to maps. You can create a mask that acts like a fog of war to have them explore whatever dungeons they may come across. And this is even better in the pre-written's because you can just click, click, boom, you're in a dungeon. 
and it's the dungeon from the game. And I can click this little tab right here and pull out the monsters and put them in the th Boom, they're there. Just drag your stuff onto it. It's so easy. If you want some good tutorials on how to use Fantasy Grounds, I recommend uh, Cody's videos over on Taking 20. He does an okay-ish job explaining everything. I owe a lot of credit to Cody, actually. He's kind of the one that taught me how to do all this stuff. All right, then you can set up Zoom, invite everyone to your call, and there you go. You can play it from there. There's not much else to explain. It's honestly pretty simple. You can also import your maps into World Anvil for everyone to use and see with ease. You can reference the books with D&D Beyond if you want. You can use Discord if you would rather just do voice chat, or if you want to see your friends and role play with their faces, you can use Zoom. It'll take some getting used to and some practice, but once you get a hang of it, D&D Online can be just as fun as playing in person. I hope this guide was helpful for you, and have fun out there. Uh, I have nothing else to say. That is the end of the video.